So, uh, here we are on the uh, banks of the Clotina River, where we're, where we're um, getting ready to go fishing for king salmon. king salmon. They are beautiful fish. We have a couple of pictures of, uh, that have already been caught by somebody else, so we know they're here in this river. Um, yeah, well, Pete Farley, this guy right here, is claiming that he's caught several fish already, but of course, I would take... never lies, Dan. Picture never lies. Take it with a grain of salt, I'm telling you right now. Um, never Until you see him holding a fish again. This is a small uh, campground, which uh, apparently is used by the Indians, who during a certain time of this salmon run that's going on right now, have the right to come here and net fish as many salmon as they want. So there's a whole campground set up here, which is currently kind of broken down, but that they obviously set up more formally when they uh, come back fishing for the salmon. Uh, I'm not sure what that house is right there. It's extraordinarily small, so... Uh, it's either a small, well, whatever. Maybe it's where they store fish when they're catching others. Um, that's Terry Daly, our guide. Here's the binos, Dan. Our guide with, with binos. These guys are getting ready for uh, some fishing, as I will be in a little while. I'm going to borrow their gear once they start catching fish. I'm going to let them get wet and determine whether there are any out there to begin with. And, um, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous day, and we are about 250 miles north of Anchorage, which is where we need to be tomorrow, um, and just enjoying this day. We're going to do some fishing now, and then we're going to head up to um, Denali National Forest and take a look at that. Um, and so we'll talk with you later. Say goodbye, Pete. Bye. I'll the next time I report in, I'm holding a fish that's 50, pound, 50 pounds in weight, in weight. I'm hoping.